Good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. Happy Manifestation Monday. It is Monday again, you guys, and it's already the month of May. Can you believe that? We already are well out of the first quarter and well into the second quarter, about to get to a place to enter the third quarter already. This year has gone by very quickly, although it has been very challenging. And you know, I was having a conversation with my sister this morning and I wanted to share it with you guys. It was a great conversation. It was awesome information. And I wanted to share it with you guys. You know, we were talking and I asked her, I said, well, Sissy, you know, what's going on? How is everything? And you know what she said? She said, you know what? There's a lot to complain about, but I refuse to do so. And I was on the phone with her and I said, you know what? That is a great, great thing to encourage people with this morning. It is a whole lot that we can complain about, but let's just refuse to do so. Let's make the decision today to embrace joy, love, peace, compassion, harmony, tranquility, and also embrace being loving and kind and considerate, even in the midst of chaos and calamity and all the confusion, all of the uncertainties that we're experiencing in our world right now, we still can have an attitude of gratitude. You can still embrace the power that lies in your mind to control your thinking, to control your attitude, to control how you perceive your experience. Because in reality, you guys, how we think about a thing is how it is it manifests in our lives. It's so true that our thought life has such an effect on everything that surrounds us. Everything in our lives is affected by how we think. How you see things is really how they exist in your world. If you're optimistic, if you're a realist, if you're a pessimist, if you're a I don't knowist, <laughs> that's not really a word. <laughs> but if you're one of those people that just I don't know, every time something that I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. There's people out there like that too. But for us who are optimistic, for us who are realistic, for us who are pessimistic, however we perceive a thing, that's exactly how it exists. That's what's real. Whatever we think, how we feel, what we believe, that is what our reality is. And like my sister said this morning, she said, even though there is a lot to complain about, what is the use of doing so? The truth of the matter is when we go through things, it tends to be longer because of our attitude, how we respond to it, how we respond to the situation, how we address the situation, how we perceive the situation, how we embrace the time when we have to deal with something that's adverse. Every single one of us will have to face adversity in life. There's no way to get around it. There's no way to get over it. There's no way to avoid it. It is a part of the human experience. But how we respond to things, man, it makes all the difference in the world. You guys, it's going to be some times in our life where things don't go our way. It's going to be some times in our lives where we lose a loved one. It's going to be some times in our lives where we may experience financial setbacks or financial calamity. There may be some times in our life where we experience some physical challenges or some emotional challenges or some social challenges like we are right now with this distancing and I am a hugger. I'm over here losing it because I cannot share some hug ministries. You guys, it's killing me not to be able to hug, but it's a time to embrace change positively. So I've been doing this all the time. Hey, <laughs> like I'm in Wakanda, right? <laughs> but still, you guys, it is a time to be grateful because even through whatever we have to face, even through the adversity, even through the challenges, even through the things that we have to experience that we do not necessarily want to go through, there's still a blessing in that. There's still a lesson that we can learn. There's still room for growth. There's still room for something good to come out of the things that we have to experience in this life, you guys. So let's choose today not to complain because guess what? What is it going to change? Absolutely nothing. It's not going to change anything if we complain. So let's embrace gratitude today. Let's embrace the mindset of being thankful. Let's embrace the mindset of saying, you know what? This too 
shall pass. Let's embrace the mindset of somebody else's situation is a little bit more challenging than mine. So I need to be thankful that I'm not facing the challenges that they're facing right now. And I need to hone in on the good things that are in my space right now. My children are fine. My home is fine. My faith is intact. My fitness is intact. My finances are okay. And I'm free. I'm free to make a decision to be positive. You're free to make a decision to be positive. We all are free to make a choice to be the optimistic person in the picture today. You can be the optimist in the picture today and not the pessimist. Make the decision to not complain. It's going to be okay. It has to be. It has to be okay. Remember, let's embrace the positive. Let's embrace what we know that's good. Let's embrace what we know is liberating. Let's embrace what we know gives us the fuel to keep fighting the good fight of faith. It is a time to embrace our faith. It is a time to look forward to a more positive future on the other side of what we're experiencing right now. It is a good time to be positive. It's a good time to smile at somebody. Even through the mask, I can tell if you're smiling. <laughs> I got my mask right here in my seat getting ready to go into uh, my office for the day. Even though we're still quarantined and there is, we're not open to the public, we're still practicing safety safety first you guys remember that so um you know so today you guys just show some love man be encouraging be a beacon of light be the beacon of hope for somebody else to see today somebody needs your smile somebody needs your encouraging words somebody needs to hear you say hey it's going to be a great day somebody needs that type of love and that type of energy from you so remember today be positive and remember we are going to choose not to complain. Grace and peace. I love you guys. This is Coach Coffee in the great state of Texas by way of Houston. See you guys soon. Be well.